Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and uh, in this video, we are going to discuss a very, very important question, which is how I can start my career in testing after six year of gap. So six years is just for reference. It can be any year. Let's target what are the problems that you are going to face, what to do next, and my thoughts on this, like how I uh, I have seen people doing it in front of me. All right, so let's get started. and let's jump into the video awesome guys uh, first of all let's discuss about the what are the problems that you guys gonna face uh, especially uh, if you are if you have a certain testing career or especially a career gap okay first of all the problem that you are going to fa- face is very very important that i have seen many times let me pull which is outdating outdated skills your skills whatever the skill that you have for example right now if you were working on a protector suppose right at the time you when you and after 5 years you join another company right now people are not using protector right they are moving to cybers or they are using any kind of other tool like play right play w right right so you will have certain outdated skills this problem you will face a lot uh you will be out of practice which is uh, i think really important and uh, very 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 important known things you will be out of practice your knowledge your processes you are far far you will lag behind on this okay uh get another thing that you will uh, face this kind of issue i have seen this many many times because uh, this is uh, i am get uh, I, i generally get this question many times over my videos also that after a career gap especially a especially a career gap right uh peep uh, hrs especially the recruit uh, hrs people right they are avoiding you they are they avoid you because of the outdated skills because you are you are out of practice probably or you are not properly aligned to the company standards or the job description that they are required right for example if they have like five they only want a uh, 3 to 5 years but right now you have 6 years because of the certain gap like 2 or 3 years of gap then you are not basically matching with their profile right but according to your experience and expertise due to gap you are exactly matching right so here is a gap where hrs are um, avoiding you so how to handle that we will discuss in this second step also okay now if you have a gap people consider you outdated and avoid you in year in the projects this is very very real scenario that i have seen people try to avoid you if you have an experience if you have a proper career gap in this okay so this is the very important problem that you going to face and a uh, very very important and i think nobody is discussing this and i have seen this in front of me many time where hrs will try to manipulate your salaries they will try to exploit you they will try to exploit you because uh, they want to hire someone but uh, if you are uh, if you ha- even if you have a 7 years experience like 5 or 4 probably 3 years of gap in between them right uh, hrs will basically manipulate you or they will basically exploit you based on the salary that i have seen personally okay so how what to do in this cases right uh, you will ask me and these are my learnings these are my experiences over the 9 plus years what i have seen and i have seen many many people switching job even with the career gap okay so let's do let's see what are this the first one of course is very important which is refreshing your skills this is really important and i will highly recommend before even if you are applying right you just uh, see the road maps what are the current road maps of this uh, job profiles for example if you are applying for an automation role make sure you uh, see the road maps available and if you know the skills or not okay reach out to the new employer this is really important reach out to the new employer basically means you can if you are if you have an access uh, go to the linkedin if you are suppose you are getting a call from a company go to the linkedin right and uh, talk to the employees who are working for example i have seen one of my student who had around 4 years of gap uh, he was discussing everything uh, from a employee who is working on that company right and he is he was basically giving more information like what are the tech stack we are working on so he was basically refreshing his skills according to the employer 
you can reach out to the previous employer also if you had if you had a t- testing career gap right you can reach out to your previous employer if they have the similar role if they want you in or not uh here is the very very important point i have seen uh, out of suppose if 10 people have a career gap right six times people try to join the same company or the previous employer i mean this is the fact that uh, i personally have seen where 10 uh, 6 out of 10 people have joined the previous employer so success rate of your joining again to the previous employer is very very high and new employer is only 4 in this case that i have seen so if a previous employer wants you back please uh, go ahead uh, of course you have to uh, of course hr will manipulate try to manipulate your salary or try to exploit it but you have to compromise a little bit but i think you can manage afterwards in the future but try to get to the job okay so previous employers are very important another thing is very very straightforward i am continuously uh, telling you guys ask for referral uh, discuss everything reach out to your peers discuss this thing uh, that you have a career gap due to some issues right uh, ask for referral this is like the easiest way uh, if you if even if you need any kind of referral from my side you can reach out to me at email uh, email me at contact@testingacademy.com you can you can find that email id in the description also you can uh, basically share your cover letter as well as resume i'll try to uh, circulate between my circle okay and be patient guys i have seen people getting impatient due to these career gap they are just burning out uh, they are not learning instead they are just uh, continuously worrying about that okay i have a gap now what should i do what should i do what should i do don't be that don't be that guy be a patient and just practice uh, do the projects and prepare well this is really important prep you have to do the practice and you have to evaluate yourself this is really important what you know and what you don't know this is really important uh, this is the uh, this is uh, the learnings that i have seen from the people who have basically switched for after a career gap that you have to know you have to basically see what you know and what you don't know and apply on the companies uh on the basically apply for the company is what exactly you know no right now even okay so for example if you are applying for a company who is working in protector but you know have you have worked on mostly in java so don't apply because probably you will get rejected most of the time okay so make sure you are applying to the correct tech stack extra set the clear expectation to the hrs and working peers this is really important discuss with the hrs be previous to that i have a career gap but i am i have done the projects right now i am well prepared right now i can handle the teams or whatever it is you can tell them and have a clear expectation with your team also okay update your resume with the latest trends this is really important that i have seen because uh, the with the uh, latest trends as well as if you have updated resume hrs will contact you very well okay let's uh, discuss about couple of my thoughts and let's quickly go through them get a clear idea on what is expected that i have told you right less ego you please make sure uh, you have a less ego you may need to compromise in salaries or work or a title please do that uh, i think you it's okay in future you can manage uh go for sme roles if for example if you are joining any automation probably you are not uh, well versed or out of practice for the programming right so you can go with the subject matter experts or go to the manual manual things mostly or a subject matter sme is mostly or uh, strict te- te- uh, technical roles in avoid technical roles if you are out of practice you can do that this is especially for the uh, mothers that i have seen i mean the moms especially after baby and all they uh, they generally out of the practice right so you can go with the sme's role that uh, that works many startups have the sme's role they want approach startup again important point uh, they are more flexible hr are more flexible they are happy to join you you can discuss with the friends and hr for the same you can join some institutes and practice this is really important you can join couple of institutes related to for example if you have a uh, testing career you can join some in bangalore there are plenty of uh, t- t- uh, training institute you can join online also okay sometimes people need to add a fake experience uh, this is very important point i have seen 50 50% success where uh, in the career gap of 6 years 5 year they have like they add like 2 3 years of fake experience it sometimes works sometimes doesn't work i have no i have n- not yes and no because i have seen both of the sides of it uh, but overall i would say don't add discuss with the hr compromise a little bit in future you can manage right that's the easiest way have some peace of mind in this case okay so 
and let them know what you are bringing to the table which is really important and this is uh, really important uh, because one of my friend basically uh, he had like three years of gap in the software testing after that he basically said i know this, this, this concept i have read about in the last two, two months i'm ready to apply this and he's doing a great work in the next company okay so i hope this makes sense and i hope now you have a idea high level idea how you can basically handle a career gap uh, of any kind of x years in in your career okay in software industry right thanks a lot for watching uh, this video if you want to practice or learn something new and uh, update your skills right related to api testing selenium cybrisk karate rest assured postman and other things you can go to the testing academy you can subscribe and like this video and uh, make sure you check out the 30 days challenges where we where we do projects that you can add to your github profile and update and enhance your resume also okay thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye this is your host promote